Hi, we are Yıldız Over Team and welcome to Yıldız Technical University, Istanbul. Yıldız Rover is an interdisciplinary robotics team gathered under the University Club Spark, which aims to represent and promote Yıldız Technical University and Turkey at an international level with their future-oriented project. The team was established in July 2020. The team has participated in many competitions since last year, such as European Rover Challenge and has ranked 22nd among teams from all over the world. Yıldız Rover was also qualified to compete as a finalist in the Agricultured Unmanned Land Vehicle category at Technofest and achieved the third place as a result of the performance of its vehicles in the field. Yıldız Rover is currently competing in the University Rover Challenge, the European Rover Challenge and Technofest along with the Anatolian Rover Challenge. Our Rover's modular chassis is made of thistled aluminum, which is durable, reliable and allows us to make configurations between missions. We use 20-20mm light and durable 6000 series thistled aluminum profile that provides ease of modification. The Rover has a length of 1100mm, a weight of 800mm and a height of 1000mm. The differential bar mechanism was designed so that at least one well on both sides of the Rover is constantly in contact with the ground on rough terrain. In addition, lightweight and high-strain carbon fiber composite tubes were preferred for the legs which connect the well and chassis and differential bar mechanism. The specially designed tire, which was inspired by current airless tire studies in automotive industry, produced with a TPU filament, as it is less costly and accessible than other manufacturing methods. Horizontal threads were formed on the tire surface to keep the traction at the optimum level in rough terrain conditions. Inspired by tractor wheels, vertical threads were added to the right and left ends of the tire to prevent the rover from spinning if the soil was moist. The tire was produced with a sure 90A hardness and hexagonal channels are formed in its interior design to absorb shocks. Thus, it's ensured that the rover can move smoothly against slopes up to 45 degrees without tipping over. The Lion battery pack used in the system needs a protective circuit. For this purpose, a battery management system PCB that provides passive balance has been designed by our team based on the vehicle's operating condition and system requirement. The energy taken from the battery is transferred to the relevant electronic equipment by adjusting the appropriate voltage values, thanks to the power distribution PCB. In order to protect the components in the circuit, there is a current sensor at the input of power distribution's PCB and it cuts the current flowing through the circuit in case that may damage the rover's electronic systems. Motor driver circuits have been designed by the electronics team to drive DC brushed motors equipped with magnetic igniters. These PCBs, which contain the hash bridge structure, are used in our system. Rover's electronic system is divided into three main parts. These are manipulators, mobility, and science mechanism. In the wireless communication to point 4 GHz socket and to access point with TCP IP modules are used. Thanks to the system, information exchange is provided between the ground system and the road. Omnidirectional antennas used to avoid positional disadvantage have also increased the communication distance and enabled this range to be up to 1 km. 6 series and 10 parallel lithium ion battery pack was used to high current equipment such as leather, EGX, and motors on the road. Easily accessible and emergency stop button was placed on the rover that will shut it down under any circumstances. For visualizing the obtained data, our designed user interface is coded on Flutter, considering simple usage and sustainability. Our rover uses the HTTP protocol to send data to a port we want from a local host. Then the data is transferred to the interface by pulling from the selected port. As a backup plan, connection of Flutter with ROS can be performed with the ROSLIT plugin to enable the usage of the ROS topics with the ROS syntax in Flutter. Our rover uses the HTTP protocol to send data to a port we want from a local host. Then the data is transferred to the interface by pulling from the selected port. As a backup plan, connection of Flutter with ROS can be performed with the ROSLAB plugin to enable the usage of the ROS topics. 3D Oster, OS1 LiDAR and Z2 Stereo Camera were used to provide localization in small areas, whereas 
Pixhawk development kit here three GNSS module were used in larger areas. The rover maps its environment during the movement action thanks to the leader and the stereo camera with the odometer data. The best route to the selected destination point is dynamically calculated according to the changing environment around the rover. The rover must be able to compare its location with the target point to draw a path to the GPS location which is given at the beginnings of missions. The rover can map scanned area and avoid the obstacles on the road while reaching the destination on create path. After reaching the target point, the rover recognizes the Aruco markers and positions itself. An image processing algorithm was developed specifically for Aruco markers detection used in OpenCV libraries. This algorithm is retained for a backup plan. It was replaced by a more advanced algorithm, including the Z2 libraries. Also, we use OpenCV library on various tasks like color recognition. Arco finding algorithm starts after entering the target area. The detection algorithm informs the rover about the coordinates of the camera and the instant sent information of the Arco markers. In addition, the algorithm gives information about the relative coordinates and directions of the Arco markers to the camera instantly, and the rover acts. The manipulator can be controlled simultaneously with a joystick, RVs interface, or terminal as a backup plan. Logitech C920 is used in the end effector to provide a clear view to the user during teleoperation. Manipulator moves autonomously towards the coordinates of the recognized object with the data coming from stereo camera. The manipulator features six axes to perform the task at optimum level. In order to reduce the rover's overall weight, the manipulator joint parts were made of aluminum, while the link parts were made of carbon fiber composite tubes. The manipulator has 1200 mm range with the end effector and can be easily mounted on an aluminum plate in front of the rover and the mount for science mechanism. Second and third axes are powered with linear actuators that provide the desired lifting and pulling capability. The arm also can easily handle a payload of up to 5 kg with end effector. The science mechanism was designed consisting of two subsystems, sampling and caching. In sampling, a drill mechanism is used to collect samples from the surface. The drill has 600 mm of length and it's able to take samples from a depth of 100 mm in soil. The collected samples are transferred to the caching mechanism with the transfer arm. The caching mechanism is the part where the sampled soil is stored in the vehicle and designed to store four different soil samples in four different containers which are placed on the revolver system. In addition to storage containers, the revolver system contains four spectroscopic cuvettes for onboard UV visible spectrophotometer analysis. To test the hypothesis, some experiments and measurements are performed both on board and by the base team members. The onboard measurements and experiments are classified in three main titles, including visual analysis, environmental sensor measurements, and spectroscopic analysis. The webcam allows us to examine the traces of extinct life on the rock and soil surface without sampling. We interpret the color tones and sediment shapes on the rock and soil surface with image processing and sedimentology database. Environmental sensors consist of two groups, atmospheric and soil sensors. Atmospheric sensors detect the environment's temperature, humidity, pressure, and several gas levels such as carbon dioxide, methane, ethanol, nitrogen dioxide to observe the environment's suitability for the extant life. pH meter and soil temperature sensor determine the optimum life for habitability values. MPK sensor will be performed to determine the availability of nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium for plants to grow in soil. Custom-made UV visible spectrophotometer and visible NIR reflectance spectrometer are performed on the rover during sample collection for soil rock analysis and life detection. The soil that is prepared by the judges will be tested with colorimetric tests, in addition to spectroscopic analysis and sensor measurements, which are performed while strolling. To detect the existence of lipid and protein in the soil, chemical tests are used. Bradford assay detects the peptide bonds, and Sudan 3 assay changes color in existence of lipids after strolling. 